Hey everyone, welcome to Cheddar, brought to you by HP. You are watching Cheddar Sports, and coming up later on the show, we will check in with Little Tigris for an update on the League of Legends World Championship that's happening right now this month in South Korea. Yeah, guys, but first, we have a very special guest here joining us here at the desk. Cliff Morgan, he's the CEO of G Fuel Energy Drinks. It's one of the most well-established brands in esports and all of gaming. Cliff, great to have you here. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, you've got a recent collaboration now with Dr. Disrespect. We're very excited about this. We've been showing some of the video of that here just a moment ago. Tell us a little bit about why this was a perfect partnership for you. Uh, so we've actually been doing uh, stuff with Doc for over a year, about a year. Um, and he integrated nicely with our brand. He was a fan of the product, was drinking it, incorporating it into his lifestyle. Uh, so sometimes these things just kind of come together. He was definitely not nearly the superstar icon right. a year or so ago when we yes. met that he has become now. It's like a phenomenon. Uh, I how did you know a year or so ago that he was going to be a perfect person for you when he hasn't exploded to the, to the, the way he is now? Uh, so we kind of have like a little bit of a feel or a knack for influencer marketing. We've been doing it for a while. I think we started hiring our first YouTubers in 2012. Yeah. Uh, so our brand kind of grew up in that influencer space. Yeah. Um, and we kind of see guys as they're on their, you know, their little devices like Social Blade and other metrics right. that you could use. But I think your kind of gut instinct when you're in the middle of the you space know. a little bit more. Uh, so you can kind of tell. You can see how tight-knit their audience is versus just wide and, and uh, loyal. Mm -hmm. um, and he specifically, unlike everybody else, is an actual character. Right. Where most guys go online and they're streaming as, as themselves, uh, he's like this character that's created that's kind of become an icon in the Twitch community. And, uh, and we are thrilled that our 25th flavor is his wow. black on blackberry. Black blackberry? Black on blackberry. Amazing. So he has this thing about his black on black slate Lambo. Uh -huh. sure. So we thought we, we try to make the influencer flavors, uh, you know, close to their sort right. of black on black cherry. Amazing. And he was very instrumental in everything from the label to the flavor, uh, to specifically what flavor and, you know, and then right. tweaking it and the color. And uh, so he was very involved right down to the graphics on the box. Wow. So he, so he, he was really awesome to work with on this. This stuff. takes us back to the days when NBA stars used to be on Sprite cans. Oh, and yes. we used to have yes. a whole host of influencers that would be on different packaging. How important is influencer marketing to your overall marketing strategy? So I, I think the difference is um, we're not just everybody, a lot of people will just take a check for a sponsorship and then hang a banner outside. Uh, so A, we can't compete monetarily with the big beverage companies in terms of who writes the biggest check. And for us, it's more important that the fit is, is legitimate. So we want to uh, endorse people that are actually already using our products, love the products, enjoy the products, and there's a natural fit. Um, you know, the analogy I've made is you see like a guy like Derek Jeter doing a Ford commercial and everybody knows he didn't just drive like a Ford Focus to Yankee Stadium. Right, right. Uh, so we want to use influencers that really use our products. It's not so much about uh, who can pay them to hold it in their hands. Well, I'm curious, why didn't you feel like more companies are doing that approach, going after basically clients that use the products all the time? Uh, well, I, I don't know. I guess at a bigger level it might be a little bit tougher. Um, and for us, you know, we, like I think I said, we grew up in the space of esports. So we've been working with the influencers and the gamers before it kind of became a thing. So there were no big companies pounding down the door for these guys. Like I saw Dr. Lupo was being interviewed a few minutes before yes, I came yeah. on. Um, you know, if he, he's not an overnight success. Ninja's not an overnight success. These guys have been grinding for years. It's just in the last 24 months, everybody knows who they are. Right. But 36 or 48 months ago, there weren't a lot of people offering those guys any money for yeah. sponsorships. What sponsorships and partnerships have been most successful for the G Fuel brand? So initially it was with YouTubers, uh, and I think there's kind of been a seismic shift uh, from YouTube to Twitch. Uh, so while uh, we recently started working with Roman Atwood, who's a YouTube icon, who's been you know, making videos for 10 plus years, uh, and that's also a newer relationship. Uh, but again, he was a guy that was into our pro He bought all of our products on his own, made a vlog about how we went away from sugared products, uh, so we started doing some business with him. Uh -huh. um, and what other what other parts of this do you feel like you can tap into? Are there other players out there that you you think that could fit into this mold? Who who else do you see going after this? So there, there, there's new influencers all the time. Uh, Phase Org is our is I think the largest of the second largest gaming organization, and we've been working with them since 2012. Uh, but they constantly pick up new guys, uh, like Tfue is a Fortnite guy who, you know, a year ago nobody really knew who he was. Right. And then all of a sudden now this guy's got the seventh largest following on Twitch and he's, he's a celebrity. Um, so uh, we were fortunate that because we have a deal with FaZe and FaZe is expanding. So some of those new guys, and he's not the only one, they have five or six all-star, rock star sized guys that have recently joined the org. And we see new guys coming in all the time. So I think it's kind of a matter of, you know, we're, 
deeply rooted and integrated with the space. Right. So we see the guys coming up, we see the teams, uh, we see kind of what's trending and what's hot, and we're kind of already there. If it's a trendy thing, we're probably already in the middle. Absolutely. Uh, we do have to wrap. Uh, just before we go, this is a hot space right now. Uh, a lot of beverage companies have been trying to get into the cannabis space, but gaming, esports, not one that they have been really going after heavily, at least if you're not Red Bull, I believe. And so, would you ever sell to one of those major beverage companies that's been out there on the street for so far? Uh, I, I, I guess, I, I, you know, I used to work on Wall Street, so I would have to entertain any potential business sure. dealing. Uh, right now, we're focused on building our own billion dollar brand. Um, we have a lot of momentum. I don't think there's a lot of people. So the difference between our brand, if you look online, is that people save the shakers, they save the tubs, and they yep. post them on Twitter. So the brand uh, integration with our fans Absolutely. is very genuine and uh, difficult to emulate. Absolutely. Cliff, thanks so much for joining us here today. Thank you so much time. for having me. Appreciate Definitely. it. All right.